Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by Octotoots.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to make a Tumblr theme and this is the third video in the three part video series. In the first video we used Adobe Photoshop to design the theme and this is what we came up with. Now although this part wasn't essential it really helped us find out what the theme is going to look like in the end. So using this as a basis in the second video we actually started coding the theme and we used HTML and CSS in Tumblr to start coding the theme, and this is what we got. Yeah, that's pretty much it. But now in this video, what we're gonna do is add the Tumblr code, so the posts and the main content and the sidebar, the description, the pages, all of that will appear, and that'll pretty much finish up the theme and have it done. So now what we're gonna do is sign into Tumblr, and I'm gonna visit my Tumblr page at octotoots.tumblr.com and click Customize. I'm going to open up the preset code I have over here, and I'm just going to paste all of this into the HTML section of Tumblr. Now you guys could download this code, I'll provide the link in the video description below. But pretty much what you want to do is take this code, click edit HTML, delete everything you have in there, and paste the code. Now if I update the preview, you'll see that our theme is done. Everything is here. But what I'm going to do to actually further explain this to you guys, I'm going to go through the code and explain everything that I didn't explain in the previous tutorial. What's different in this code from last week's tutorial is we added the Tumblr code. So everything here in the content from the header image code to the different types of posts and the main content code, that's all from Tumblr. So what I'm going to do for you guys is provide a link so you can download this code in the video description below. So you guys could open it up on Tumblr and just edit it to your liking. What I'll also do is provide a link to the PSD for the design of this theme in the video description too. So you guys could open that and also edit that to your liking. Now with that being said, the rest of the tutorial is just going to consist of me explaining uh, this different Tumblr codes uh, so you guys could get a better understanding of it. So when you actually go to edit it, you guys know what you're doing. Now with that being said, if you're only interested in downloading the theme I made and not making your own theme, then you don't really need to know about all this coding. If that's the case, then just look in the video description below and there's a link with 5 easy steps on how to download this Tumblr theme. So let's get started on explaining all this coding. It's actually really simple. It starts with this header image. It says block colon if header image and then it says use the header image. And then it says, if not header image, then use the title. So let's go back to the appearance. The title over here is set as my name. If I don't have a header image set, then it'll just use my name. Now, I do have a header image set because in the previous tutorial, I scrolled down over here and pressed upload and I uploaded that header image. Now the image is 550 pixels by 75 pixels. So let's go back to editing the HTML. Next up is just a bunch of different types of posts. So block posts consists of the text post, consists of the photo post, the photo set post, quote post, links, chat, uh, video, audio, and notes and tags. So all of those are different types of posts that you could put in Tumblr. And this, all this code just pretty much explains what to do just in case there's that type of post. And this notes and tags consists of the time, the date, and the number of notes that it has. So all of that information wouldn't appear if it wasn't for this bit of code. So next up is the navigation. What I did was added the navigation right below the posts as well as adding the navigation in the sidebar. So for this bit of code, this navigation is for the navigation below the posts. I centered it. And then it pretty much says previous page, uh, jump pagination length of five. So it's going to show uh, five pages, one, two, three, four, five. And then it says the URL and next page. I'm going to scroll down. And next up, we're at the sidebar. We have the title. So the name that I set for my title is going to appear up here. We have the image uh, that you're going to upload as your profile image. And then next up, we have pages. You could set extra pages if you want. So you could just add a page or you could just leave these pages. We have the ask page, the RSS page, the mobile page, and the archive page. Next up, we made sure that the description shows up. And then lastly, we added the navigation again. So it's the same exact code as you saw before. And that's pretty much it. All we have to do is design the theme, 
code it, and then just add all of these code to make everything appear in Tumblr. And we're done. All that we need to do now is click update preview, go back to appearance, press save, and close it. And now we're done with the overall theme. And that's it for this video tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something new. Now just take the tools that I taught you and the codes that I provided you guys with and just tweak it and change it using your knowledge of coding and your knowledge of designing to make your own theme. It's pretty simple just to change it around to your liking. But that's it for this video. All the links will be in the video description below. Until next time, this is Octotoots.com. If you have any questions, just drop a comment below. I'll see you guys later.